failure never existed. We just say that because it's, it's a way of motivating ourselves to get to a certain place. But I always believe that if you feel in any kind of way that you failed, you're completely wrong. You didn't fail. You just didn't have all the information. So if you're after something or you're trying to get to a certain place or you have a specific goal of trying to reach and you don't reach that goal, it's only because you didn't have enough information. That's it. You didn't fail. You just got, you didn't have enough information. It's okay to create goals, but don't bank on them because things is going to happen when God wants it to happen, not when you want it to happen. Now, you need to work towards it constantly, though, always perfecting your craft, always moving towards a growth impactual standpoint, but don't bank on an age goal. Because what happens is if you don't achieve it in that moment, most people start to give up or they start thinking, oh, I failed myself or I didn't do anything right. That's not always true. Sometimes things don't happen when you want it to happen. It happens when God wants it to happen. And that's the side that I think a lot of entrepreneurs miss, the spiritual side of your goal or the spiritual side of your success. And then you ask yourself, what is success? Is it fame or fortune? Does that measure what success is to you? Or is it faith? Like me, success is faith. That's me. If God is not smiling upon me, I'm not successful. I don't care if I have a billion dollars in the bank, a hundred billion in the bank. Matter of fact, the biggest company in the world with a trillion dollars in the bank. What good am I if I have that much money sitting in the bank in the first place? All these problems that need to be solved. And you got a billion dollars in the bank? <laughs> so we all have our own motives of why we do what we do. And we all have our own definition of what success is to you. But more than anything, you have to be true to yourself as to what your thoughts and motivation is for what you do. And don't measure success by material things. Anything I do get into, I want it to have an impact. I want to get into business that's gonna help people. What problems are you solving? Right, so if you think along those lines, I think success is inevitable. It's just a matter of you working hard and patience in the process. Because our generation, we just have this idea that everything is supposed to happen right away. Because we've seen success. We've seen other people close to us have success. But half the time, we don't calculate the time in which it took to get there. And you shouldn't ever be in a rush to fail. Take your time with everything. Just be patient. Patient is literally the key to success. And when you're doing something that's never been done before, patience is even more required. Because it's never been done before. There's going to be a million mistakes made in the process. And there's going to be millions of solutions that may not be that solution for that specific thing, but may even branch you off to something else, which may sidetrack you from your original goal. But the question is, how much are you willing to lose? I don't believe in losses. I always believe in gains, because no matter how many times you do good, you're going to always be rewarded. Whatever you do, do not alienate your gift.